and now we can go and add in our eyes and make it look a lot more nicer mm -hmm. now we will use the clay builder brush b c b so we have only used three brushes up to now the move brush at the beginning and the damp standard to create this shape and now we are going to use clay builder so most of the time we will be just playing around with these few brushes okay now let's let's create a slight depth here so what happens is you see this curve and you see it here uh, there is this gap and more like uh, this depth here but it's slightly you can smoothen it out to kind of like give it a feel of it having depth um, like this so what happens is our muscles you see our muscles gets attached right here this is why there is this depth area for the muscles to sit in we are going to use the dance standard again to like sharpen it slightly we will increase the resolution later so don't worry about it right now uh, we are just creating a very simple block out and just learning some simple sculpting techniques within zebras so let's go to bcb clay builder brush and what we will do is don't create our eyes here okay it will look very unnatural slightly below here you can see the difference uh, oh no. where, is, where is it when we create it in here it looks very unnatural and weird like it's not looking good so not here slightly below here but inside like this but it's fine if you accidentally made it a little bit higher we can easily use the move brush and just bring it down to its position right you can easily do it mm, let's make it like this and bcb for the clay builder brush and also one thing uh don't make the eye hole like this right uh, like this in the center the eye hole doesn't go like this as you can see in the reference here there is a depth here it doesn't go directly inside but there must be other images and you can see it here it is going like this right uh, it's not in the center here the hole also let's say the depth is slightly around this area more like this area mm -mm -mm. here in this area you can use that one mm. which one should we use mm. okay let's use this one this is slightly higher detailed so if you are just beginner then i recommend using something like this right we can use this one because if we are just beginners and we look at something super detailed like this we can be, get very confused and uh, instead of creating the basic shape uh, what usually beginners do is they try to just capture the detail so we don't need the details right now what we need is just a nice silhouette just like that so we can also use this one i'll show it to you guys just I'll just use this one because we can easily see all the shapes here without any extra detail. So a simple eye. As you can see, it is getting difficult for me to sculpt now because we don't have much resolution in here. So we are going to add in later. Uh, just slightly. I'm going to add slight volume in this area. Mm, so then it out. As you can see now it is starting to get a little bit difficult right for, for us to sculpt so what we are going to do is now we are going to use the dynamics here go inside geometry and then in, inside dynamics so what dynamics does is but i will open the polyframe here you can also press shift f right here we can easily see all of our polygons and our spaces so what dynamics does it it automatically adds uh, more polygons to our model right now you can see the resolution is 32 what it does is you can see 
hit edit you can see in this box here it get it gets divided right here you can also see here in the active points before it was only 2000 so now it is 4000 so it has doubled it has basically doubled our polygons so uh, we can just use this one for now just remove this and B C. Oh, we are already in play builder now we are going to create this nice shape here let's push it slightly don't be in a hurry uh, especially if you are just beginning uh, it can take a lot of time for us to improve so just slowly slowly we will build in this shape right so, and also one thing so inside the eye there is this cavity here right there is also this slight shape i don't know what it is called but there is this slight shape that comes outside as you can see there is this cavity here and there is this outside shape right here so we are just trying to mimic it a little bit our face is starting to look a lot more like a skull we do have to fix a lot but it's starting to look good now we'll create a nose because just the eye looks a little bit off right the eye is still not perfect we have to fix a lot but we are going to leave it for now and we are going to add in the nose uh, the nose is as you can see it's not round like this i've also seen some people on the internet create it like this or you know those daily cheap skull models yeah they have this nose and it looks so weird it actually has this slight shape where, where is oh, you can see in this one it is slightly like a heart shape upside down and slightly curves in here and there is a little bit of sharpness here as you can see it's sharp it goes sharp in here and slightly curves downward and you can also see it in here it is curved downwards so we are going to try to create it the resolution is still quite low but it's fine for now just like upside down heart shape and now we are going to use the move brush pull it a little bit and we will we will pull this area okay now it looks like our model has a nose now our helmet has eyes and our nose so it's starting to look nice now we will push it slightly you know different people have different structure more like different ethnicity i am asian so i have a lot more of flat features and a lot Europeans like our European friends they have a lot more of a stronger features so I will just create like an average we are just trying to create a very average fall we will push it inside a little bit and pull out the eyebrows it will look a lot more nicer here slightly slightly a little bit very very little changes we will pull this out a little bit here as you can see our eye is very round right our eye is never round like this as you can see it is slightly squarish in shape but let me zoom in here you can see slightly squarish in shape so we will mimic that too mm, slightly slightly here and we, will, we are trying to create this square looking shape slightly round here and it curves downward as you can see in the reference and we will pull it outside here and after we add in more resolution it will look a lot better as you can see here it is it's not straight there are some people who have created create like this and this is the main reason why our face looks so flat because our face is not like this it has a lot of nice shapes and curves and angles to it and we just have to push it a little bit and make it look nice i think for now it is good enough i will just push it a little bit back and our nose let's bring it here now as you can see 
our nose is sharp but it goes straight down it's, it doesn't go straight down right here you can see in the reference it is slightly curved outward or inward uh, up inward so we'll push it slightly slightly and smooth it up slightly push it Um, we can easily fix this one. Don't worry. It does look a little bit off right now, but it is okay. We are still fixing it. Mm, let's just push it for now. We can easily add in more. And then pull this area here. I think this is the reason where our, uh, what, what is it called? Connective tissue. You know, that thing that can like divides our nostril is here within uh, we don't really have to know the name so it is okay as long as we know what the shape looks like it's starting to look a little bit off as you can see mm, we don't have much resolution here mm, we definitely we definitely need to add some more 